when bending down to grab something on the floor, most people have a very wrong habit, maybe you too, which is to bend down on their knees. Strange, will you say, because you've always heard that the golden rule of manual handling was bend on your knees. Well, look, there are four reasons why bending on your two knees to grab something like this shoe box, say for example, is a big mistake. Number one, when you bend your knees deeper than 90 degrees, there's massive pressure in the knee joint. And this pressure will be felt if you stay for too long in this close joint position, but also if you try to get up directly from this position. Reason number two is that your knee extensors will be lengthened, which weakens them. So when you're there, the muscles that aim at, say, straightening up your body are not in a position to exert a lot of strength. The third reason why it's not good to bend on your knees is look at the shape of my back. When I bend down with my two feet on the ground, my back gets round, which overloads the discs. If I don't want that, and this will be reason number four, I have to lift my heels from the ground. And of course, my back is now flat. That hasn't saved my knees, huh? but my back is flat, but I'm unstable because I just stand on my toes. If I now want to bring something from the ground, which is mid-weight, say 5 kilos plus, the alternative is bring a foot backwards and you see that my knees are at 90 degrees, meaning not too much pressure in the knee joint and muscles at proper length. Of course, this knee is now uh, submitted to um, direct pressure from the ground, so this is okay for, say, a few seconds. If I now need to work for, say, 10 minutes or so, I should put a damping pad here under the kneecap. It can happen that because you forgot about this video, you go down on your two knees and you find yourself stuck here. Well, then now what you should absolutely avoid is to get up like this on your two knees at the same time. What is the right alternative? The right alternative is put one knee on the ground, second foot there, and you get up from here. This is the straightforward alternative. The turning alternative is one knee on the ground, other foot in front, and now instead of going straight forward, I'm going to do a 90 degree turn in direction of my rear leg. When I do the 90 degree turn, the key is that my feet move at the same time as my shoulder. If there's an offset between the two, say the shoulders move quicker than the feet, there will be a twist in your back. Okay, so the idea is really at the same time. So to cut a long story short, don't bend down on your two knees and more than everything, don't get up on your two knees at the same time.